What's up guys, it's Heavy with Knives. Uh, I got this here just so I can get some focus because I got to show you another knife I finished. Um, <clears throat> this is that one that I uh, had Duracoated but uh, already had handles on it, so you've seen the blade already. Um, I reground it nice and thin. It used to be really, really thick. Um, and put a really nice edge on there. It's got a, almost a zero convex with a slight bevel at the bottom just to get the Duracoat off of it. Um, really sharp. So nice and sharp. Um, but with the handle, I eventually, or I, you know, you saw before it was mostly covered in Duracoat. Um, but what I did was I taped a lot of it off. Or not a lot of it, but some of it. I taped off where any metal would be showing, and then a few extra spots, and this is what I came up with. Oh, and then I sandblasted it, sorry, I didn't say that, um, because I wanted the grippiness of the micarta to show through, and the dark green, just to give it that nice contrast. I think this is one of my better examples yet of knife making. You can see it's dirt coated all the way around. And, uh, this one's super comfortable, really, really nice grip. Um, I have a few, where is it? I have a Kydex sheet for it, just needs to be refit in there, but it's a pretty nice, pretty nice package, really camouflaged. Um, really, really cool. Uh, I had a friend a while ago that was interested in this knife. So I'm going to contact him, but other than that, uh, it will be up for sale. Uh, I haven't decided on a price yet. Uh, if you really, really want it, make me an offer. And I will think about it. I was thinking around 150 175 just because the Duracoat was more expensive and, uh, and whatnot. But pretty sweet, I think. That nice, thin, thin lean grind on there. So yeah, I'll have more for you later. Finishing up a bunch of stuff this weekend. Um, I don't know. So yeah, peace guys.